Okay, so this is a transfer board. We can use it for different types of patients. If they've got bilateral lower extremity weakness, um, we can use a transport, transfer board with that. If they had um, a spinal cord injury and they um, had some paraplegia, you'll see them use transfer board quite a bit, okay? Um, or if they just have one leg that's weaker than the other. So um, what we wanna do with this transfer board, and they do make them, this is just a, a wooden transfer board. They make plastic transfer boards as well. They also have some that have cutouts on them. Be careful with the cutout. Like if they put their hand in the cutout when they're doing the transfer, they can pinch their fingers. So be very careful with that. I prefer not to have the cutout just so that they don't even make that mistake. Uh, they also make much longer transfer boards. And if you're doing like a car transfer, I like the longer boards. Um, and then of course they make wider if you have a bariatric patient. Okay, so we're gonna take this armrest off again. Okay, and we're gonna put the transfer board half on the um, chair and turn that chair so you get a better position. And then we're gonna slide it underneath the patient, okay? So we're gonna lift her leg up and just slide underneath, okay? And what she's gonna do, that transfer board's not gonna be perfect. You know, if it's, if it's up slightly in the air, that's okay. You just wanna make it safe for that patient, okay? But it's not gonna lie completely flat, so don't worry about that. Now what she's gonna do is she's gonna push on this transfer board, push with this other arm, and you're just gonna help her, okay? Now she can, as soon as she can, she can reach to the seat. Let's do one more, where you're on the seat and you're pushing and you're sliding. Oh, I don't, don't remember this. <laughs> you took the whole board with you. <laughs> um, and she slides onto the wheelchair. And then you can take the board out. Now, I, I could have put it like a towel or something because she does have shorts on and it would have slid just a little bit easier. Um, let me show you one other thing. Stand up. Just come over here, Marissa. When they get really good, especially patients that have spinal cord injuries, um, that are always going, they're never going to be able to do a normal transfer. You can take the transfer board away and just have them do a push-up transfer. And what that is, is they're just pushing up and lifting, but it's all arms and there's no legs on that. So patients that have um, paraplegia where they have like a T11 or something like that, where their legs are just um, involved. Um, usually a lot of times they're very, very strong in their upper extremities and they would just do a push-up transfer. So that is a progression from a sliding board transfer. 